Hey, what's up? My name is Brent Pierce from Cineblur.com. Today, we have a quick tip in Premiere Pro. This is one of those little time-saving techniques that if you're a professional, if you're an experienced editor, you'll love. If you're a new editor, you're going to think, as pointless, I don't care, but you need to care because it's these little time-saving techniques that are gonna make you better as an editor. So, here we go. So in Premiere Pro, typically, in order to move your playhead, you have to click up here on your little time bar thing up here. You can't click down here. Uh, you can click your blue line and move it around, but that's kind of annoying, nobody does that. But having to click up there is kind of annoying. Sometimes, I'm gonna move the playhead right to where my mouse is without having to go up here and click, right? In Final Cut Pro 7, back in the day, you could do that. In Premiere, you can't until now. Here's a little shortcut that we're gonna use. All right, so you're gonna need a mouse that has extra buttons. For instance, this is a Logitech G602, and it's got these fancy buttons on the side. So I programmed these side buttons to do different macros to help save me time, but the button we're gonna be using today is the little scroll button right there. So that's what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using that little scroll wheel button. In order to configure it, I'm gonna be using the Logitech gaming software. This is how Logitech kind of tells its mice what each button can do. Um, if you're using a different mouse, you, you're gonna be using different software, but the premise is basically the same. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna click this little wheel here, I'm gonna go to edit, and I'm gonna apply a custom keystroke. Basically, I'm gonna choose something that I'm never gonna use in Premiere Pro that I would never assign to anything. So I'm gonna go like Shift, Control, Option, Command, C for click. And then I'm gonna press OK. So that means anytime I press this, it's gonna do that whole string of keystrokes. Now, back in Premiere Pro, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into our keyboard shortcuts. You can do Option, Command, K to get there. And then this is where you have all your keyboard shortcuts. You can assign stuff, you can add stuff, you can delete stuff. But what we're gonna do, we are going to type in playhead. Here you go, and then you get everything that's related to playheads. You got the typical, you know, you press E to edit it. You can do your rolls, you can do your ripples, you can select, you can do all this stuff, which you should be using, by the way. And then down here at the bottom is what we're interested in. Move playhead to cursor. Look at that, that's incredible. And here's what we're gonna do, shortcut. I'm gonna click it so I can assign something to it, but instead of clicking on the keyboard, I'm just gonna click the middle mouse wheel that we just assigned, and you'll see that it added that keystroke there. Then I'm gonna click OK, and now here's where the magic happens, ready? Boom, you can click anywhere with your wheel mouse, and it moves it around. So say you wanna go to this clip and your mouse is right here, just do your wheel click, and it's there, right? Now up here, you're still gonna have to use your left click to get there, but, down there, you can navigate anywhere in your timeline without having to go up to the top. Pretty slick. I love those little time-saving techniques. Um, I add them to my daily workflow all the time, and eventually I start to remember them and use them more often, and it really does help the workflow of editing. You're only saving like half a second here and there, but it doesn't stop your progress as much. So, it's great. As an editor, uh, I strongly encourage you to find these little time-saving techniques. They're great. I love them. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.